It is a beautiful morning in the B yard, which means, well, it's actually B yard. This is the, we are now at the honey making shop. And we're about to unload. You know, hey, where are we? <laughs> what are we doing? We're at it. We're at it. Cult Pride Extracting Honey Service and uh, Pizza Beekeeper. So we're unloading this one. This is what me and Miss Angie picked up yesterday. I can't really move my arm. So this sore. is the honey harvest. This is the honey this harvest. Is where it's going to actually be turned into honey. Boom, 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 boom. A bang, 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 bang. I love the way you fly. Oh, I love the way you die. I love the way you walk. I love the way you fall. I knock you off of your feet. Something good to eat. Oh, boom, boom, boom. How, 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 how. Jonesville Tractor Sales presents Boom Time with Bob and Archie. Archie, hobby. Archie doesn't have hobbies. All he has is jobs. He doesn't have any hobbies. I mean, I don't know what he's going to tell you that's a hobby, but beekeeping is not a hobby. No. It is my hobby. I love bees. I like bees. So you can tell in our shop, I got a lot of bee boxes. It's really my wife's hobby. It's Miss Angie's honey. Miss Angie's bees. Miss Angie's hobby. So uh, apparently Archie has already harvested one of his areas with all of the hives. And so we're meeting him at seven o'clock in the morning at the beehive storage, wherever, yeah, big, yeah, lot, I guess. Oh, he's bringing in some machinery this time. We got a bobcat baby, so yeah. But I'm guessing that Bob won't ever get to drive the bobcat because he won't let me drive anything. Is this this looks a little suspect. It is. Oh, we'll see. This ought to be interesting trying to get this bobcat off the trailer because I don't think the ramps are working properly. I think the trailer's messed up. And so this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Uh, mine and my oldest son's investment in that trailer and uh, we had some issues with it and one of those issues was the ramps and so uh, I'm not the best welder but I'm gonna have to rework the trailer ramps on that trailer to use it ever again. I I'm not sure that Archie driving a Bobcat is a great idea. I'm sure that me driving a Bobcat is definitely not a good idea but um, yeah we're doing the manual labor but I'm not sure he's paying attention to what's going on. Uh, somebody might want to check his license, make sure he's licensed to drive this thing, because it doesn't look good. Bob, whatever you had to get to drive it, he won't ever have it, so it's not ever going to work. Bob's uh, adventurous, I guess you can say. We're all moving the honey, trying to get it in a storage container, get it ready for extraction, and Bob's just kind of walking around with a camera. It's always Bob's excuse. As long as he's got a camera in his hand, he's like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm busy. Beep! Are you excited about the bee episode, Hunter? Huh? You're not excited about bees? Why not? I noticed that uh, cameraman Hunter's not so excited about this because as we know from previous episodes, he's a little bee shy. That was a traumatic experience. 
Yeah. You had a traumatic experience. What was it? I think if anyone's watched this show, they know what it was. Hyperventilating. A little bee, uh, bee intrusion. PTSD, man. Yeah, Hunter's a long ways away. He, Hunter has had a traumatic experience with bees in the past, and so he's not very excited about this episode. He is not really excited about being around bees because of the potential for stinging. Me? Nah, I don't even need a suit. As you can see, I am a uh, man of no fear. I have no suit on, and yet I'm in the midst of the bees. Some might call me the bee whisperer. Hello, bees. Bob is here to take your honey. Sorry. Not sorry. You see where I'm at. As far away as possible. By no bees. Who needs a suit, man? Suits are for babies. <laughs> I am the bee whisperer. I am a baby. I am the bee whisperer. Boom Time with Bob and Archie is proud to be brought to you by Bandit and Avery Outdoors. We are individualists. We are determined to grow build and cultivate the life of our dreams. We like our way of living. Who are we? Number one in subcompact tractors, number one in compact excavators, and number one in diesel engines. We are Kubota. Jonesboro Tractor Sales, 5312 Stadium Boulevard. We are Kubota. Get in the red zone and seal the deal. Accidents happen. So what happens if you bring your car or truck to Stadium Auto Body? It's in the hands of a manufacturer certified expert who will treat it with respect. It's brought back to life using the advanced tools and technologies today's vehicles require. All makes, all models. At Stadium Auto Body, we do the job right, back our work with a limited lifetime warranty, and make the whole experience pleasantly easy. Accidents happen. We're what happens next. Tell your insurance company you choose Stadium Auto Body. We just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Russell's Truck Accessories. Come on, Hunter. This is it, Hunter's baby. Getting paid to be in the video. I know, that's what I'm saying. I was like, Hunter gets money for this. Bob does it for free. I do it just because I love bees and I love I harvesting love honey. And I love Archie. I was going to say that was my last thing. Was I loved Archie. And I love wearing the pink suit. <laughs> what do you say if we do this with no suits today? I'm are you going to be, not, gonna be the volunteer? Yeah, I've already done it already. I was over there playing with those other bees earlier. Yeah, that's not that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the uh, extraction point uh, for the bees somewhere in somewhere county, and uh, I start pulling out the suits, and I'm wondering, do we have enough suits this time? Will Hunter get a full suit? The answer, yes. Yeah, uh, we get to the field, and I did promise Hunter that I was going to give him a suit. Uh, a big enough suit that would fit him well, and we had one. I had to borrow one from another guy who hired a guy to help him 
who was a big man like Hunter is. And so we had a big enough suit. So we want Hunter to be taken care of. We don't want grandma mad at, I don't want grandma mad at me. And I want to take care of her baby. I don't think the bees are happy with us. So the way this process works is you gotta put like some kind of bee, bee stink on it. So it's like a stinky junk. I mean, it's, I mean, trust me, if you had smell o vision you'd be gagging because it gags me every time. Uh, we use fume board so it has little solar panels on it. So they get hot through the sunlight and it forces, uh, the smell comes down into the hives, kind of goes into a gas and it, it, it makes the bees, they run from it. They, they flee and that's why it's called bee robber. So we rob the hives then because you don't want all the bees in your honey uh, when you're taking it in to be extracted. That's right. I got it. Uh, Good uh, oh, these suckers are heavy when they're full of honey, man. Ooh. It is, um, it is not what I would describe as a hobby. This is definitely just hard manual labor. Sweaty, sticky, stinky, and the potential to be stung multiple times. So, not for the faint of heart, for sure. But not what I call a hobby, either. Yeah, it is hard work, man. It's hot. Uh, it's sweaty. I mean, it's heavy lifting. Uh, you know, I always tell people, you don't need the gym, just be a beekeeper. You'll, you'll get all the gym you want. How you feeling, Hunter? You're just kind of trying to ignore it all. Just ignore you. Block it all out. Ignore you. Ignore it all. Block it all, huh? All right, I'll tell you how. But if I unzip that part right there, would it, if I took a pocket knife and just ripped a hole in the back of it, I would leave. <laughs> all day with Arch. <laughs> with Hunter, since Hunter has a full suit on, I don't think that's much of a challenge for Hunter. So you know, if I can get his suit unzipped a little bit, maybe just a little crack, maybe a little area where the bees can get in. It might add a little adventure to his life and to uh, this episode. No bees in there yet? Stop it. No bees in your Stop beard? Stop it. Bees in your beard, there's a bee. Cool. <laughs> there's a bee in your beard. Bees, glorious bees. Don't you love bees? I love the bees. Oh, I'm dizzy. Do I get enjoyment out of Bob singing and dancing and playing around while I'm working? No. I said it's the old bee choir, and it's in my soul. The bees are buzzing. I don't know. I get kind of bored sometimes, uh, so I thought, why not make a you know, couple of songs out of what we're doing? You know, I don't think Zach is going to like it when Bob does change the words to the songs. You know, I don't think that's a good thing. Ain't no bees gonna steal my joy. I said, ain't no bees gonna steal my joy. For more about Boomtime with Bob and Archie, visit us on the web at boomtime.tv. There you can find all of our past episodes and connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie is brought to you by Federal Premium Black Cloud. We just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. Are individualists. We are determined to grow, build, and cultivate the life of our dreams. We like our way of living. Who are we? Number one in subcompact tractors, number one in compact excavators, and number one in diesel engines. We are Kubota. Jonesboro Tractor Sales, 5312 Stadium Boulevard. We are Kubota. If there's one thing we know about the future, is that we want them to have it even better than we did. 
best is what we're expecting for our families, for our best friends, for our better halves. So when someone we love is not feeling their best, that's when we need it the most to get the best doctors, the best hospitals, the best treatment to just get better. We are Straysner Brothers Construction in Blyville, and we build industry. We're one of Middle America's top providers of construction, engineering, and design services since 1980. We are a debt-free company, own our own equipment, and complete projects on time and on budget. So from conception to completion, Straysner Brothers offers all the services needed for your next industrial build. Straysner Brothers Construction. We build industry. For more info, visit straysnerbrothers.com. Shop Talk. Shop Talk. Here we go, folks. We're back, and it's Shop Talk time. That's where we are in the shop, and we talk about the Bible. You think everybody realizes this is shop? I think people probably think it's just some set we decorated. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, no. It's definitely a shop. And we take the Bible and show you how to use it in your everyday life. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, I, like this segment. I do, too. I'm My glad you part. like it. <laughs> hey, today we're going to talk about one of the uh, great stories found in the Old Testament. Yeah. It's all true. It's all God's Word. But it's the story of uh, the Passover. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I just want you to read one verse. Hey, this is out of, there's several chapters here you could read through, but we're going to be pulling out of Exodus chapter 12, and I'm going to ask you to read verse 13. Got it. And then the folks out there watching, hey, pull an app up or get a Bible, do something. You can read the story if you'd like. We'll kind of talk about it. Pulling up on my Bible yeah. app. It says, the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And no plague will befall you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Hey, this is, when I was growing up as a kid, I used to love to watch the Ten Commandments that would come out. Uh, oh, yeah. Let my people, people go. go. You know, and then uh, who was it? Yul Brenner was yes. Pharaoh, you know, and this stuff. Well, uh, what we have in the Old Testament is this God sent Moses to tell Pharaoh, let his people go. Yeah. And uh, you know what? I heard a woman one time and uh, in a hospital, and I was talking to her. I said, hey, uh, where do you go to church? She told me. And I said, What's, uh, so t- who, tell me who your pastor is. She said, well, my pastor's Pharaoh. I said, Pharaoh? She said, yeah, we call him Pharaoh because he will not let his people go at noon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that ain't anything to do with this. So, but it's good. when I was growing up as a kid watching Ten Commandments, love this, how you would see the death angel yeah. would come through down in Egypt and where the death angel would see the blood right. of the lamb over the doors, then he would pass over mm-hmm. and they were spared. And the story goes on and tells that the firstborn of Egypt uh, died that night. And God, God did that so that the people would be set free. They came in as a family. God took them out as a nation, about as many as three million. In the New Testament, Jesus was celebrating the Passover meal, okay? Just like they'd been doing for hundreds of years and from this story. And it was on that night that he instituted the uh, the Lord's mm-hmm. uh, Supper. And, you know, now the reason it's called the Passover is because, again, the death angel passed over. Now, right. a lot of... A lot of pointing forward to the coming of Christ Mm -hmm. and a lot of symbolism here. But the family would be commanded to take a lamb and then it would to be cooked, to be roasted, and there were certain things about the meal that would be prepared. But that blood would be put on the outside door Mm -hmm. post of that house. And then the Lord said, when I see that, what that means is that means you're believing in what I commanded you and you're doing, uh, you're being obedient to what I've told you to do. And so no harm is going to come to that family and I'm going to Passover, okay? At the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ, that's why when even John the Baptist said, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, he was our Passover Lamb. Mm -hmm. And so when Jesus was crucified on that cross there in the New Testament and his blood was shed for us, when we believe in Jesus Christ and what he did for us, okay, this is is how all this ties together, the Old Testament and the story. 
when we believe in Christ, what he did for us, his blood is applied to us, okay? Mm -hmm. His righteousness is applied to us. And so then when God looks at us, he sees the righteousness of uh, his son upon us. In fact, his judgment, the way it passes over us. Mm -hmm. So Jesus Christ was our Passover lamb. So you have a, a story in the Old Testament God was setting up for the coming of His Son, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, right. and, uh, and for our sins to be covered by the blood of the one and only Lamb who could be the perfect sacrifice for us. Awesome Isn't that a tremendous, oh, yeah, awesome. great picture, great story mm -hmm. uh, that's found there. Uh, and in fact, what happens is, uh, you can read through that, but Pharaoh does let the people go. Yeah. You know, um, if you talk to people out on the street out there and say, man, how do you, how do you inherit eternal life? People got a lot of things they say, you know, well, I gotta be good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and people tell me, well, my mama, my mama was a good person. My mama paid, played the piano. Uh, it's not about your mama, your dad, it's good that they're great people, whatever, and hopefully they were believers in Christ, but it's about a personal relationship with Jesus. And the blood of Christ has to be applied to you. Right. And that's the only way you can have forgiveness of sins. Hey, you may be watching this, you know, and I know we covered this very quickly. I always encourage you, to, to read, you know, so read in Exodus 12 and Exodus 13, uh, chapter 13, read through that story. But if you're out there today and you sense that conviction of sin and you say, you know what, I need Jesus Christ, I need his blood applied to my sins. I believe he's the, he's the only one who can forgive me. I believe he's the only way I can have eternal life. Then the Bible says that we come to him in faith and we believe in him, we call upon him, we ask him to save us and we repent of our sins. That means we do admit we're a sinner, but we turn away from sin and we just ask him to take control of our life. And it's a promise from scripture that if we do that, he will save us. Man, that is, that's, that's awesome. why it's called the good news. That's exactly right. It's awesome. Yeah. So isn't it exciting how God set it up in the Old Testament and we see it fulfilled in the New Testament with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're always interested in your story. Uh, if God's moving in your life or you want some more information about this or you want to know how do I become a believer, man, email uh, me at archie at boomtime.tv or bob at boomtime.tv. We always love to hear from you and hear what's going on in your life. And, uh, you know, we want to help you to find a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church wherever you are or help you further um, your spiritual walk. We just wanna be there for you. So uh, we'll be right back with more Boom Time after this. Interested in hearing more from Pastor Archie? You can watch all of his sermons from Central Baptist Live or on demand at centralbaptist.com slash live. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie is brought to you by Glenn Sane. Closed captioning of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Apex Communications. Polaris makes the off-road's best, and now is the time to buy. Take your pick of legendary sportsmen, the best-selling automatic ATVs, and get rebates up to $800. Grab a Razor XV1000, the best-selling sports side-by-side, -side, and get a $3,000 rebate. Hurry in for huge deals during the Polaris Full Throttle Sales Event. Barton Power Sports, Parker Road off the 63 Bypass in Jonesboro. just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. Fast, friendly, convenient, and personal. It's our reputation. For 25 years, the medicine shop has placed your personal care above everything. Knowing you by name, delivering your prescriptions, helping you find answers. These are things we value most. Make the medicine shop your pharmacy. Caring beyond prescriptions. The way a pharmacy was meant to be. 325 Southwest Drive. I'm Laura Dixon. Mashburn's RV has a great gift idea your family will enjoy for many years. Are your kids screaming? Can we go camping? Let's go camping! Well, for the price of a family night's dinner and a movie out once a month, you can afford your own Jayco travel trailer, pop-up, or fifth wheel from Mashburn's. This is the perfect time to invest in your family and buy a Jayco from Mashburn's. 
Mashburn's has over 40 years of local sales and service for our customers. Go one mile south on the bypass on Stadium or online at MashburnRV.com. Fast, friendly, convenient, and personal. It's our reputation. For 25 years, the medicine shop has placed your personal care above everything. Knowing you by name, delivering your prescriptions, helping you find answers. These are things we value most. Make the medicine shop your pharmacy. Caring beyond prescriptions, the way a pharmacy was meant to be. 325 Southwest Drive. are Straysner Brothers Construction in Blyville, and we build industry. We're one of Middle America's top providers of construction, engineering, and design services since 1980. We are a debt-free company, own our own equipment, and complete projects on time and on budget. So from conception to completion, Straysner Brothers offers all the services needed for your next industrial build. Straysner Brothers Construction, we build industry. For more info, visit straysnerbrothers.com. This segment brought to you by Oldham Law Firm and Arkansas Baptist Foundation. Sometimes what you see is people think we're in hazmat suits. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so they'll see you roaming around, especially if you're walking from and the oh, yard yeah. around and come out of the highway. People would stop and stare because they don't realize it. I walked into Subway with it on my Oh, no. Let's go walk around the mall with it on. Oh, wow. That'd be yeah, be clear out of this building. We need you to clear out. Calm and orderly, please. Hey, guys. Yeah. Okay, what we can confess, <laughs> hey, here's the thing about it. James came down to see us. We're on his farm. It's a Ray family farm down here is where beehives are. He comes up. He's a man. Gets stung in the eyelid oh. with a stinger. And, and he, he just said, you know, I think I might need to put a suit on. I said, yep. That's a good option. Did that hurt? Did that hurt? It didn't hurt as bad as a red wall. Is that You only got really? one eye right now. I can only see oh, one yeah. eye. <laughs> <laughs> He's a one eye guy. Oh, man. no. Hey, good deal. Uh, well, how was it? We got this is Kenzie and this is Walker. How was it? Now, good Walker's night. worked bees before. Okay, Kenzie, what do you think about this? Man, this is a it's a beast, man. It's, it's a awesome. beast. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's cool. It's you love it, huh? Yeah. One with the nature, man. One with that. Well, let me ask this because you know Bob kept singing this whole time down here, making that song, yeah. dancing. Was that weird to you? I mean, what, what do you think about this? Man, look at him now, just in a pink uh, I'll sing it with the nature. Yeah. I'm with nature. Yeah, the bees he's simply being create their own harmony with nature out there. Right? right? Sing it to him. I think it's, I think yeah. it's just yeah. to distract from the fact that you're working around thousands of bees. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that off your mind. Calm them down. We didn't do the smoke. We didn't do anything. So yeah, yeah. Use, yeah that's right. It was my yeah, melodious, my melodious voice. Melodious voice help control. You the know, bees. I just think it's just really weird. What I think. I, just, <laughs> I think it's really weird. For the second year in a row. Yeah, there you go. I'm repping the pink suit, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm very fast. You know, as you well, can see, we had to man up more. Wait a minute. More, we couldn't count on, wait a minute. We couldn't count on who? Hunter. Well, He's Hunter the one that ran straight down the road. Hunter retreated like two or three times. Oh, got stuck in the beard. Happy somebody. Oh. He ran last year. He was like, come on. And so, if they follow you, worse. They, well, they, they probably are. It's not a good episode unless somebody gets stung. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, I, took I one did. One. I took one in the neck, but it wasn't bad. What about yeah. Hunter? Hunter, did you get stung? Nope. Bob unzipped his hood. Knock on wood. Bob unzipped his hood. Yeah, he was like, no big deal. But they told him. That wasn't fair. That's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was to try to keep you Don't tall. tear the suit. Don't I got, the, tear the, suit. I got the cat like quickness. I blocked it. That's it. Yeah, cat like quickness. That's, that's it. it. Always a good time. Man, hey, faith, family, and friends. That's what Boom Time's all about. And uh, this is Miss Angie's honey. And even though Miss Angie's not here today, this is Miss Angie's honey. Miss Angie's farm fresh. Hey, that's right. We got to give her some respect, though. I mean, yesterday she did this all day. Hey, she did. She worked hard yesterday. Man, she really she did. did. Hey, appreciate yeah. you guys being here so much. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Hey, man, stay tuned. Always uh, stuff happening. Look for uh, other episodes coming. Boom time, bus stop. Come on. Ow, ow, ow. It's all about the bees, baby. The bees, the bees. That's it. All right. Hey, I'm going to load the Bobcat. <laughs>